in a minute. And let's move on to the smash lights section where we talk about whatever we want, where it's our, you know what, or a hole in the ground. It's all good. And, uh, Let's play some mood music to go along with it. How about Tilt-A-Whirl by Golden Cat Productions? Now that's my record label. If you never heard of it, well, Make America Not Suck Again by heading to soundclick.com slash goldencatproductions. All the links are below the video, by the way. And, uh... Let's get into the smash light section here. First of all, let's talk about chad. Chad. Have you learned how to say chad? Now, Smash Staff doesn't want to say chad because uh, she's not too pleased about chad because I keep saying chad. Chad. Fireworks are often made in chad. And uh, I would be careful with those if I were you, such as in Pennsylvania where they've become legal and people keep doing reckless things with them. By the way, being reckless has not become legal. Please use fireworks responsibly. And anybody who was not aware that common fireworks release, release toxic metals into the air, um, man, I don't know. Take a chemistry class. <laughs> the things that make them colored are metals like titanium and copper and all kinds of other metals that are being oxidized as they burn up. And so, yeah, try not to breathe firework smoke. It's kind of bad for you. And uh, I don't know why this is a thing, but thanks, biz.org, for telling everybody stuff that we should have known <laughs> just instinctively. Let's talk about other stuff about Chida. Chida. Please say it aloud, folks. Chida. C H I D A. Chida. Chida. The paper tiger. Chida. Now, this telescope's made in Chida and it's detecting extragalactic neutral hydrogen emissions for the first time. Now, some of us, that doesn't surprise in the least. So perhaps read this article from SciTech Daily about the 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, otherwise known as FAST, which is fast proving theories that make sense when it comes to cosmology and fast debunking nonsense. So I've got some theories as to why we see so much hydrogen in terms of extragalactic galactic jets, central galactic core emissions, and so on. And we're using things like emission and absorption spectra in order to figure this out. One of the other relevant features is carbon monoxide. So again, have a read here if you don't know about hydrogen emissions from the cores of galaxies. And yes, this supports theories that I largely support. So, and I'm not cherry picking because I'm always searching for articles that disprove my theories, which I don't seem to find. By the way, shout out once again to Colleen Gulick. We're planning another video with her. Check her out on Instagram, perhaps. She's got about eight times as many followers as I do. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you may not see videos like this. We saw some great cumulus clouds yesterday, and I had to get some, some footage of them. So there are some, some great, interesting, multi-altitude oh, yes. cumulus clouds. So I had to get those. And also, did you know that there's some bad news, folks? Turns out that I'm only 45% human, which means I'm an industrial robot. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. We'll get back to it. First, let's talk about exposed planetary cores discovered, an unusual planet in the so-called Neptunian desert. In other words, this thing is orbiting a sun-like star way too close. Now, this star is called, I don't know, but the new the, the exoplanet's called TO1849. And there's a reason why I don't cover exoplanets often on the channel. It's because I find exoplanet studies to be irrelevant, especially when we don't understand the way the sun actually works. All that aside, uh, astronomers believe this to be the core of a gas giant. In other words, all the gas was stripped away because it's so close to the star, it its year only takes 18 hours, so imagine the tidal forces. Its surface temperature is 1,500 degrees Celsius. So now this, uh, this planet's believed to be 40 times more massive than the Earth. Its radius is just 3.4 Earth radii, so it must have very high density. And, uh, yeah, an interesting exoplanet there. And uh, perhaps... Um, 
flying in the face a bit of uh, planet formation and evolution. The Burn model, which has continuously developed at the University of Burn since 2003, insights into the manifold processes involved in the formation and evolution of planets are integrated into the model. For example, submodels of accretion, growth of a planet's core, or how planets interact gravitationally and influence each other, and of processes in the protoplanetary disks in which planets are formed. The model is also used to create so-called population synthesis, which show planets develop how frequently under certain conditions in a protoplanetary disk. It's a world-renowned model. Anyway, have a read on that if you like. It's also on SciTech Daily. First, exposed planetary, planetary core discovered. Let's talk about Facebook. Now, Facebook's made in China. I think Mark Zuckerberg might be made in China. Please leave a comment if you're aware of where Mark Zuckerberg was conceived. Were his parents on a Chinese vacation when it happened? Were they in China? I think they might have been in China. Okay. Anyway, Zuckerberg saying, we're not going to change our policies as advertisers will be back soon. As Facebook continues to mislead its shareholders by getting involved in politics in all sorts of ways that it ought not to be doing, behaving as both a publisher and a platform, and uh, trying to escape uh, legal liability for its behavior. Now, I think the SEC should be investigating companies like this. And uh, if you want to read more about it, check out the Zero Hedge article. A defiant Mark Zuckerberg says, We're not going to change our policies. Our policies are made in China, and our advertisers will be back as soon as possible. Okay? Congratulations on Mark, by the way, learning how to drink water in front of Congress. Well done, Mark. By the way, we are on Facebook. <laughs> We've even made songs about Facebook censorship. So check us out there if you like. And check it out. Dakota Smith putting up a great animation here of uh, sudden cloud nucleation here over Kansas. So check it out. There's the tornadic supercells formation. And uh, we're hoping you weren't under that one. And if you haven't checked us out on Twitter, we are on Twitter. Twitter.com slash smashamash. Let's talk about HuffPo. As I've started reading HuffPo every morning, nearly first thing when I first wake up, just because of the amusement factor, HuffPost reporting that Facebook cracked down on extremism, except Facebook equals extremism. Anyway, here's a nice article that you may want to read. My son's only three, which means he's barely discovered the differences between boys and girls. And uh, Allison Hope, guest writer, has already started teaching him about pride. Well, uh, please leave a comment if you have an opinion on that. And checking out CBS, another propagandistic leftist organization, Inhaling fireworks smoke poses health risks. Who didn't know that? Why does this have to be on science publications? More than 300 Hong Kong protesters arrested. So, hey, you never know. Even yellow dog journalists like CBS News occasionally report relevant things. So diversify your news sources and make sure you have some discernment, because if not, you may be reading article after article and believing them to be true. And well done, California, by announcing new restrictions on indoor businesses. You are making sure that you make your deficit to unmanageable levels and bankrupting your state. Let's talk about abert.org. Now, if you type in mygoogleresearch.com, you'll be directed to abert.org. And this is where I filled out the, are you a human? Are you assertive? How adult are you? So some great surveys there if you want to if you want to have some uh, automated analysis of your personality done. Uh, how resilient are you? It turns out I'm 85% resilient and only like 40 some percent human. And I've survived a global panic and a propagandistic pandemic so far. And congratulations on doing so. Your ancestors probably survived things a lot more severe than this. Again, if you are viewing the content live, or if you're viewing it in syndication at places like YouTube and BitChute, please leave us a comment and tell us about your global scam dem I mean pandemic experiences. How much propaganda have you believed? Have you been believing lies? Let's talk about smashamash.com slash forum. Shout out to Mary and Kimberly. Thanks for putting up information here on the Gobekli Tepe thread. So uh, in the Earth Geophysics Forum, 
We've got a thread specifically about Gobekli Tepe. Thanks, everybody, for posting there. There's some Olmec heads. And there's the latest post from Kimberly. So again, check out smashomash.com slash forum if you haven't. It's a repository for information, and we'll, we'll be having more and more topics up on there as time goes on. Talking more and more science as we approach nearly 1,300 registered viewers, users. And it's free for everybody. You can view the content uh, without even signing up. But in order to contribute, you'll have to create a login. And here ends today's Smash Light section. And thanks for tuning in, everybody. Let's move on to some more stuff.